Ah, another day of R2D. I can't wait to play my favorite game and record a video. All right. And the game's probably done. Yo, what is up gamers? Welcome back to a Ready to Die video. Uh, this is The Sinister here, and today we're going to be going over what weapons you should and what weapons you shouldn't get while you're progressing through the game. Um, so let's just get right into this, but before we do, uh, if you guys could go down in the description and join my clan, Steam Happy's clan, it is the best clan. You will farm really easily, you'll get your rank up in the past like 3 days, 4 days. Uh, we already have people at level 26, level 30. Like, I'm not joking guys, just join up, alright, and you will farm like crazy. Uh, also, second thing is please subscribe to the channel, uh, helps out a lot, and yeah, let's just get into the video. I want to real quickly first talk about game passes. So let's say you want to spend Robux on a game pass instead of grinding. I mean, who who would do that, right? Like, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. All right, maybe I did. But anyway, let's say you want to buy a game pass, right? Which one should I buy? All right, well, let's just talk about this really fast. So first of all, um, let's start looking at the minigun first, right? Everyone first looks at the minigun. Like, this is probably the best gun to get. No, I think that the minigun is a waste of Robux. Now. We already have King Crab, right? King Crab is okay. He has 500k HP. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. But if you have a decent lobby, you can get him done really, really easily. You do not need Minigun for that. Minigun is only rank 20 and 65,000 cash. Uh, I ended up buying the FAMAS as my game pass, and it's only 1750. And it literally in like three or four days, I was able to get the Minigun. It's only rank 20 and 65,000 cash. And you're not going to be buying anything, right? Because you have a FAMAS. You're not going to be buying anything for a while. So you're building up all this money. So if you really want a Minigun, I would just get the FAMAS game pass and just grind your way to the minigun. It's really easy, and you don't really need a minigun right now anyway. Uh, it's better than the AK. CK SWAT, is, we'll get into later. It's pretty much the best game pass all around. Now, you might be saying flamethrower, but we will talk about the flamethrower in a bit as well. So, yeah, for game passes, I definitely recommend the FAMAS. All right, so the first weapon I'm going to recommend is the R700. Let's say you're starting out fresh in the game. You're going to get the R700. It's, you know, cheap as fuck. It's good. It kills zombies pretty fast. Not too bad. Uh, pretty good starter weapon. Um, nothing much to say there, everyone. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You want to get the R700 first. The next gun I would get is the Wingmaster. Now, the Wingmaster is extremely good. I think most of you guys know that by now. The Wingmaster is literally just a shotgun. I mean, at one shots. What, what more do you need? Most people literally just keep the Wingmaster for a while. Uh, some people even pass the M16 and just keep going with the Wingmaster. It's very good. Gets the job done very well. Uh, totally recommend it as a starter. I would just completely save up from R700 to Wingmaster. I wouldn't buy anything else. I would just save up because the R700 isn't that bad either. So the next controversial thing is the M16 versus the HK. I'm going to say the M16 is better. And the reason why I say this is because the HK is dog shit. It has terrible accuracy, terrible range, terrible. It's just, it's just a bad gun. Listen to me. Do not get it. The M16 is much better. It does 45 damage, 135 DPS. Uh, the only good thing I'd say about the HK is how fast it shoots, the uh, fire rate. It's pretty good. I mean, other than that, it's a waste of money in my opinion. I think the M16 gets the job done, and it's cheaper, and it's lower rank. So I would stick with the M16 all the way to our next gun, and that is the Thompson. The Thompson is very good, but there's money problems with it. For one, there is no drum mag in the game yet, so that's a big breaker for a lot of people. Uh, people love the drum mag. It gives it ammo without it. It kind of sucks. I understand that But let me tell you the Thompson if you just conserve your ammo and you're actually play smart with it And you get kills properly and you don't miss a whole magazine uh, It is very good in my opinion. I think that is an amazing gun and I think that uh, You guys should give it a chance without the drum mag. Just it's really good. It's better than the dragon off I would skip the dragon off the Dragonov is all right, but I'd say ARs are definitely better for farming, especially the Thompson, because it gets kills fast, it is very reliable. So if you don't want to wait to get the Thompson from the M16, then I do advise you could get the Dragonov. The Dragonov is not a bad gun. Uh, it's definitely better than the HK, but I would still say the Thompson's better. If I was in your feet, I would probably just stay from the M16 to the Thompson. It's really not that hard, and it's worth it in the end, because you're saving money and you're saving time. So real quick, let's go into secondaries before we get too ahead of the primaries. So me, myself, was a demo player. I was a demo player. I got every demo weapon, uh, and one of those was the harp. And if you guys don't know what the harp is, I mean, unless you're living under a rock, you should know what it is. 
but it's a weapon that literally heals you every minute for 40 HP. This thing is insane for farming. It doesn't just heal you, it heals everyone around you in a little aura for 40 HP. So if you have a bunch of people with harp, it's literally insane. You're pretty much unkillable. Uh, this thing is insane. This is one of the best secondaries right now. Um, so I would definitely say use the harp if you were a demo player. Literally until you get, I don't know, to the mini Uzis or Peacemakers. This thing is an insane secondary. You do not want to miss out on this. This thing is very abusable currently. Um, it's better than the M202, Bazooka. Bazooka is broken right now. Uh, and it's better than the Shotty 12. So let's go to the M202 now. The M202, Bazooka, which should you use? I honestly, right now, would say neither. I think if you do not have Harp, you want to use the Shotty 12. The Shotty 12 is literally just a, a secondary shotgun. How do you not want that? It gets the job done. It's very reliable. Um, it's definitely better than the M202 because what? when are you going to really be doing crowd control? Remember, guys, this is survival. We are playing survival. This is not versus environment. If this was versus environment, I'd tell you a totally different story because versus environment... You can straight up just have them all pile up in a corner and then just M2O to them. That is pretty crazy. It's pretty good for farming. But then again, we have to farm in survival. It's a much different story. I think the Shotty 12 is much more reliable. Also, the bazooka is literally broken right now. Um, you can't even reload it at ammo stations. So yeah, I would say for secondaries, I mean, you can buy the M202 uh, if you really want to. But I honestly think Scorpion might be better. Um... But now, nah, honestly, if I was in your feet, I would just either buy a Scorpion M202 or just completely save up for the Shotty 12. Uh, so yeah, pretty much that. Um, but yeah, if you have the Harp, use the Harp. Please don't use anything else. You are wasting your time. The Harp is abusable and you better use it before they do anything to it. Hopefully they don't. Please, Albrick, don't, um, you know, ruin the Harp for me. Anyway, um, so the next thing I want to talk about is the minigun. Uh, I've already touched on this earlier. The minigun is only rank 20. Uh, and it's 65,000, right? So yes, this is good. Minigun is a good weapon, but it's good for bosses, right? And we only have one boss currently in the game right now, and he's really easy. He's really not that hard. You can get him done with stair M's if you had a good team, right? So the minigun's really honestly not that good right now. We don't have a mini minigun. We can't reload it. It's There's nothing to it. It's just a minigun. And I mean, it's good for supporting your team, but who cares about your team, right? Let's care about us, right? This is what this video is about, this is for us progressing. So yeah, I would honestly just say completely skip the minigun all around. If you want to use it, if you like the minigun, if you like supporting, if you like helping kill bosses, then be my guest, save up for the minigun. But I think for most of you, you should just completely skip the minigun and go to the next weapon. The next weapon is the AK-47. Now, if you were to go to the game passes, uh, there's the AK-47 and the FAMAS. Do not get the AK-47, I repeat. Do not get the AK-47. Just spend the extra Robux on the FAMAS. The FAMAS is busted right now. But if you're just going like this and you're progressing, I would definitely say get the AK because it's rank 21 and the FAMAS is rank 27. The AK-47 is pretty good all around. It gets the job done very well. Uh, pretty decent weapon, I would say. Definitely for mid-ranks. It's only, it's only 38,000 cash. I mean, if you're not buying the minigun, I would totally go for this. It's really not that bad if you just grind 35 damage, uh, 320 DPS. It's very good. Accuracy is high, range is high, rate of fire is okay. Um, but yeah, very good weapon, I'd say, for rank 21. Do not, I repeat, do not get the flamethrower. At least for as of right now, I bought the flamethrower game pass like an idiot, all right? I bought it. I wanted to support the team, and I thought the flamethrower was going to be busted because it was busted in R2DA. It really was. It was a pretty busted weapon. Napalm was insane. So like, okay, I'll just grind 14,000 cash and get easy napalm, right? This gun will be insane. I was, I, I couldn't have been more wrong. This thing is really trash right now. Currently, uh, it's supposed to like multiply damage or whatnot, and it's not doing that. It, it, it does, at least that's what, that's what it feels like. It does not feel very good. Uh, it's really shit, and I think that currently the damage is not high enough. I feel like I'm constantly getting hit by zombies, even though I'm spraying them down. I don't know if it's just a bug or if it's genuinely just a bad weapon in this game. But only time will tell. As of right now, I say skip the flamethrower. Now, this could totally change as I'm speaking. This could totally change later. But as of right now, I would definitely say skip the flamethrower. Do not get the flamethrower. I repeat, do not get the flamethrower. Do not buy it with Robux. Do not buy it at all. Just buy the AK-47 and save up to the FAMAS. I will pin a comment in the description. If the flamethrower does get fixed, I will let you guys know. But as of right now, do not get it. Next is the FAMAS. This is the most busted weapon in the game right now. This is rank 27. It is insane. The FAMAS is a cracked weapon. It does so much damage, 34 damage, 138 accuracy, has a, a good amount of mags. Uh, it's only 42,000 cash, 165 range, 
great RPM, 950. This thing is busted. This feels like a mini M249 and you don't get slowed. I swear to God to you guys, this weapon is busted right now. Abuse this as much as you can. This weapon is insane for farming currently. So the next weapon actually is going to be, uh, you can get it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, it is the Spaz 12. It is one rank above the FAMAS. Um, I've heard from a couple people that it, it's okay in this game. It's not too bad, but it's not very good either. Um, I, it's a pretty good shotgun all around though, I feel like. 55,000. Uh, rank 28. I will also pin this in the comments when I get this gun to let you guys know if it's worth getting or not. Um, as of right now, I just don't know because I don't have access to this bad 12 and the game is private currently. So, yeah. Um, but for now, I mean, I'd say it's probably not that bad of a weapon. I don't know if it's better than, it's probably not better than FAMAS. I'd still say farm with the FAMAS. But if you do like this bad 12, you like the Nord 2 DA, I would say go ahead and maybe get it if you have the money to spend. Or you could save it for later. But me personally, I don't think this is a very good weapon for a while after this. So I would just kind of buy it. I mean, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Now, some of you guys might not agree with this one, but I'd say do not buy the Bear 50 caliber. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's People might not be too happy about that. People used to like it, but it's really just not that good for farming. It's, it's just not. I mean, it's good damage. It's good uh, accuracy. It's good everything, but it's just not good for farming because you cannot spray it. It's, I know that sounds crazy. It's a sniper, right? But it's really just not the best for farming, honestly. I think if you're going to farm, you want to go with the shotgun or AR. Barrett, if you like Deathmatch, if you like TDM, FFA, all that, Battle Station, then I'd, I'd say go for the Barrett. But other than that, I don't really know because it's not very good for farming. It really hasn't been. And I heard that the aiming isn't the best right now in this game and it needs to be a little fixed. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the money or the rank. So yeah, I would definitely just say skip the Barrett for the Caliber unless you really like Battle Station. Performing wise, this is not a good weapon. I would not recommend it. Okay, so next we have the China Lake and the RPG. They're just one rank apart. Uh, very similar in price. Um, actually, the exact same price. Uh, this is really preference, right? The China Lake and the RPG. Uh, there's not really too much to say for each one. The China Lake used to be pretty busted for shed farming and stuff, but the RPG was always good all around. It's really just up to you. If you guys like the China Lake, use the China Lake. If you like the RPG, get the RPG. I would not say get both. They're pretty much the exact same weapons. Uh, me personally, I like the RPG more. That's just preference though. Um, they're, both, they're both just one rank apart. I would probably just save up for the RPG. It really doesn't matter too much. They're both very similar. Um, but yeah, for that, I would just say get the RPG or whatever you really feel like getting. Because the China Lake is basically just as good. All right, I need the end of this tier list. Um, we're going to end out with a couple bangers. I'm going to say the M249. Rank 41, 85,000 coins. Very good weapon. It was always good in R2DA. Uh, I think it's going to be just as good in this game. Uh, who doesn't like the M249? If you don't like the M249, you're crazy. 75 damage, 60, 50 accuracy, my bad. And the range is 165. This thing was a beast in R2DA. This thing carried in farming. This thing was insane, right? I think everyone in here should get the M249 at rank 41. I would also recommend during secondaries to get the mini Uzis as soon as possible, replace that shoddy 12 or whatever you had as your secondary. I would even swap out the harp for mini Uzis and I would start using these, right? Mini Uzis, Peacemakers, these weapons are busted. These weapons are amazing. I would say they're even better than the harp. I would think they're better than the harp. Uh, the mini Uzis are ranked 43, 45,000 cash and the Peacemakers are ranked 48, 38,000 cash. I like the Peacemakers more, but it really, once again, comes down to preference. I'm still going to get both because the mini Uzis are a couple ranks behind. Uh, and they're both very busted, right? All right. And coming up for the last couple of guns, we have the Scar H at rank 45. That is a given. Buy the Scar H. It's pretty good. Come on now. Who doesn't like the Scar H? And then the P90 coming in at rank 52. These are kind of just self-explanatory. They're busted guns. They come in the order that they should. Very high rank weapons. Definitely don't miss out on either of these. And if you want to get the Tri-Blaster at the end, go for it. Very good for farming. Amazing weapon for secondary. Uh, I don't know. Me, personally, I like the Peacemakers more than these. They're the highest rank. These are rank 55, extremely high rank. But yeah, I would definitely say I like the Peacemakers more as a secondary. Same with the, the Mini Uzis. But if you like using RPG, then get the Tri-Blaster. The Tri-Blasters are pretty good, too. So yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, please join Steam Happies and subscribe. And let me know down below if this helped. If this didn't help, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give you guys it in common sense. I didn't want to just give it to you guys in like statistics and stuff like that. I feel like that's boring. No one wants to hear that stuff. You want to hear common knowledge, right? You guys want to hear this as a, just a player playing the game, right? Like what is the best weapon? So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. If you guys have anything to change, if you guys have any opinions, please let me know down below and I'm more than happy to hear them. Thank you guys. Hope, hope you guys have a great day and see you later.